for those who were drawn to deck number one and the Malachite. This is the Wild Unknown Tarot deck. Let's just sage the space a little. I had already smudged it. <clears throat> That's why it's about to go. So today in our reading, we will be looking into their intentions and their confessions. I may take it a little 18 plus. You never know because that's the only fourth deck that we have. So let's begin. We'll take these as an overall to get a feel. So we have the Six of Wands coming in, the Mother of Wands, Queen of Wands coming through, the Six of Swords coming in reverse as an overall energy. We'll just look into those. We have the Nine of Cups coming through, interesting energies. We have the World card coming through and we have the Four of Swords coming in. What I can overall see is this person has quite a lot of desire for you. They want a win-win situation with you. They may be confused as to how to go about things. There's certain kind of completion which is required, a completion of a cycle which is essential and this person may be taking some time off, some space to clear their mind because they know where they want to go. But in the pro current moment, they want to go towards you. In the current moment, there's a little bit of unease um noisiness which is how do i say it which they have to deal with with the horn far <laughs> off so i'm in the hills that's why the setup is a little different so the malachite coming in is the heart chakra is very beneficial for the heart chakra it is lucky also but Overall, my own personal experience has been a lot of calmness which comes in, knowingness which comes through and unconditional love which stems from this. And this also, Malachite also reminds me of uh, Green Tara Devi, so consistency, persistency, hard work that needs to be put in. So I feel right now, even if it is a little like things are a little off, aloof, um, not really where you know this can go towards. I feel like your person can also feel it internally in the heart space, soul wise, like this inner knowingness which is there, but the clarity which isn't like how do we go forward is not there. They know the long term where they want, they can see that potential with you, but at this moment, there's a little bit of uncertainty, confusion which is looming. It could be due to outside influence also, like where life is at this moment, where they want to be, to be more deserving of you or something or the other. All right. So that was a synopsis. If that makes sense to you, then let's go forward. Spirit, for those who chose this deck. What are the person's intentions? Can we get a little bit of clarification? Right. So we have the fa father of wands coming in. It came in reverse. We have the cobra coming through. So a little bit of ego death, which is essential. Um, they're passionate, but there's a little bit of ego infused in it too. So, um, with the cobra coming in reverse, it's almost like they are at this moment, they're prioritizing their own goals that they've had, maybe long-term goals that they've had, they've been dreaming about for a very long time. But it's interesting that they see you as the queen of wands and they feel that they have the potential of becoming the father of wands, the king of wands, but it ain't there just yet. That's coming through, but a lot of passion which is there for you. We have the six of pentacles coming in reverse. So could have been in the past that th 
things have been out of balance, give and take. You may have been giving into the equation a little more than they could and they're acknowledging that because their eyes are set on another goal. That's what's coming in and it feels like a bit of a tunnel vision that they have. But they know that they need to, in order to sustain this connection with you, this relationship with you, they have to put in more work. It's just that it feels that they're a little more caught up with their own work, life, creating a life. That's what's coming in. I'm sorry. The setup is completely different and my ha phone is just hanging there. <laughs> All right. So that what else? All right. One card has flipped out. We have the two of cups coming in. And it just sat on the fourth deck that I was talking about. The Two of Cups coming through talks about reciprocity, that their feelings are there too. They are realizing it. For some, they are realizing that this is just not lust, attraction, maddening chemistry that you both have, but it's something deeper, something that they can build with you. So it's nice, like with these two cards coming in and with this one over here, it's a nice combination. What else? The feelings are there. They want something more than what you both have together at this moment. Deepening of the bond. If it's already a solid connection that you both have, they want things to deepen now. Emotionally, they want to be more vulnerable is what is coming through over here. So in... In the future, you'll find them confessing um, even like things which they have been caught up with. This is the kind of person who likes to showcase themselves and as prim, proper, stoic, got it all together. But internally, life is a little different than what they showcase. And with time, as they trust you more, uh, as the bond deepens, they will start sharing their concerns also with you uh, along with their future goals because this tends to be a little um, someone who's on guard quite a bit. I got many things to um, take care of, that many things which are going on, hustling on and everything. But you realize, you will realize that this person is very, quite soft and sensitive internally. That's why we have the two of cups coming in and giving you a confirmation that the feelings are actually mutual. All right, so we have the wheel of fortune coming in changing times they want things to change for sure and very quickly the situation will be improving is what i'm feeling contact which will be made because there's certain kind of realizations which are occurring could have been that this person was um, not really ready to open up emotionally that's why they were guarded for a very long time and once this heart has been opened with the Malachite. They want things to change. In a way, in the past, they had it like, let's leave it up to fate. But they know that now they have to go conspire and go create their own destiny and just not leave it for time to do its thing. That's what's coming through over here with the owl. This person is watching you, notices a lot of things about you and they know that they can get a go towards a new dawn with you, a new phase with you is what is coming through over here. They want things to change and this person is very hopeful to make it work with you with the Wheel of Fortune coming through. Quite interesting. We have the Two of Wands coming in reverse. So there is a little bit of conflict which may be there. And it has been a little unnerving in the past because they found someone. We had the Queen of Wands, which came in first. They found someone who is quite equivalent to them. And could have been in the past that they were more interested in having someone who they could empower, like hold power over, hold a command over, control in a way also to feel certain kind of um, sense of control, um, power over another person because the divine masculine was distorted and with the heart opening up their divine feminine side 
opening up, flourishing, budding slowly, they're realizing that things have to change and they don't have to take everything personally. Uh, with the two of wands coming into us, there are certain things this person wants to clear up with you and have a clear-cut, warm, open-hearted conversation with you to make things work, to do the amending. That's what's coming through over here, especially if you had a fallout. Something you said stuck with them and it's creating a ripple effect, butterfly effect in their life. And it opened up their heart in a certain way, certain kind of realization which came through could have been due to separation also, not necessary. Um, though I also feel like the conflicts may have been like you counter questioning them that came in. Um, so that was something that they weren't really used to because they were the one who used to counter question and all of that act all smart. And this time around they got a damn smart queen to deal with so ge not gender specific but just fluid just saying okay we have the sorry we have the nine of cups coming in again you are the wish fulfillment and the tunnel vision is coming through again and they feel like you know you bring in so much happiness so much content contentment so much inspiration you give them an ego boost also that like they feel good having you in their life and they want to do something concrete and not just be in the clouds up in the clouds or in their thoughts in their feelings and not do anything about it also because they have been in this situation before similar situation before where they coiled up and didn't act upon it and now they're coming to a point where they want to change things around and manifest this what else can we get another clarifier please we have the three of wands coming in reverse <clears throat> With the three of wands coming in reverse, this is a little bit of a dilemma that they are undergoing and they have to overcome it on their own. Find the courage to overcome any hurdle that may be there in front of them. That's what's coming through. They are very much hopeful, but different scenarios, different cases and different intensities, they don't really know what to do at this moment. They know what they want to do, but how to go about it is something which is unclear at this moment because they feel, in a way, if they change their stance, because this person feels a little limited by the facade that they may have created or the way they have acted and things that they've said, it's almost like the words that they've said are causing a little bit of limitation for them. So how do they break out of it and how do they step out of their ego and muster up the courage to come in clean and really be vulnerable to showcase and share their romantic feelings is going to be very personal 1717 when i saw that <laughs> all right <clears throat> let's get a few clarifiers again i want a little bit more okay so we have the death card coming in. Interesting. All right. One thing. We have the wands coming in a lot. So wands are fire signs. Fire signs are Sagittarius, Aries and Leo. And the death card coming through is the Scorpio Major Arcana coming in. Talking about transitions, transformations. An ending which is essential before something new begins. So this is what is coming through. And I feel like an ego death is occurring. And they will be moving beyond their own limitations, their own boundaries that they have created. Not not like, you know, the walls that they have created. They want to move past it, break those down. Put an end to a certain kind of mentality, belief system, which is not working for them anymore because they realize how limiting it has been for ex from experiencing them, like put, pulling them away stopping them from fully experiencing this connection with you in its full potential because they have been scared for a very long time. 
so that's what's coming through one advice which is coming through is also that um it's good to be sarcastic but make sure that you're, you're not being too blunt because being authentic doesn't always equate to being blunt that's also somewhere down the line coming in what are the intentions for sure to change things around the way things have been playing out they wanted to change for sure they're mustering up the courage to go about it i feel like you should be giving them the space to catch a breath your own and theirs and for them to clear their mind because this is something that they have been res resisting for a very long time and it requires their own free will to bring this transition around you can also talk about it if you you can do whatever you want to do i just feel like this is the best thing right now to let them be and clear their mind and become aware of how true their feelings are and you should entertain them when they are ready for things to change because things cannot go the way they are and you don't have the sole responsibility to keep this moving because you have been pushing the cart for a very long time or alone that's what's coming through they definitely want a passionate new beginning right now it may be that they don't want something like a proper relationship or to take things in a um, to the next level whichever it may be but they want you to know that they're loyal and they want to prove their loyalty to you is something which is coming through because this person has been distracted by their own goals there's no third party which is coming in the only influence of third party could have been like you know gossip that they may have adhered to or friends coming in saying silly things or um giving in feedback which wasn't really required and it strung along with them so they acted in a certain way but they're realizing your truth through their own eyes rather than someone else's perspective that's what's coming through and they want the confusion to come to an end internally the labyrinth that they need to move out of that's what's coming through they want more peace they want unity harmony between the two of you let's see the confessions now so for deck number 1 what would the tongue say like to say what are the confessions coming in today We have triple three. Can't express how happy I am. A small surprise is on its way. Could be a gift also, a good news in their own personal avenues. Maybe there's certain kind of success that they've really been working hard upon. The three 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 portal coming through, holy trinity energy, things which are working behind the scenes which you aren't aware of, but it's gonna come in quite soon. And happy surprises are on its way. um apart from that the gift could be something material um something concrete um could also be something like a gift of conversation going on a date certain kind of initiative that they want to take towards you so that's really nice what else I still need time. Yes, they do. I am not hearing my intuition because their intuition, spirit guides are assisting them to nudging them to go forward. We have the two of cups and all everything coming in. That's the matrix mold that they have to break through and just follow the inner cues. because they are getting louder and louder the more they are resisting it the more prominent they becoming 
and it's becoming very obvious also in science and synchronicities on a day-to-day -day basis kind of a thing which is coming through being reminded of you through different means let's come again so they can't avoid the inevitable but they're just um postponing it a little and we have my mind was elsewhere which we felt with the king of wands which came through that the attention was deviated which is why they couldn't pour into your cup of love or to this relationship fully as much as they would like to now what else I feel a little pressured at this time, which is why I felt <clears throat> that you should give them the space and for them to uh, find the clarity and to come towards you on their own accord. Accord is coming through. They just feel pressured because they know they have lingered on for a very long time, not taken action the way they should have been taking initiative, interest and all of that towards you and they know that they have been biding time and they feel pressured because perhaps it could be coming in from you <clears throat> even a small question asking when to meet could feel very pressuring for this person so it's better to let them be on their own and to figure it out because this person is gonna run towards you they feel pressured to take a decision at this moment also is coming through it could also be for some people work pressure which is coming in and them not being able to maintain the work life, personal life, work life balance that's also coming through. That's why they are a little deviated, distracted. Lastly, let's cut it and see. We have I want to test this connection. Is it worth the long term? I think this person has been testing it for a very long time and they know the time is running short and that they have to be a little more proactive but could be if this is a new connection they are testing your limits also what are you fine with what are you you aren't fine with um all of that which is occurring over here because this person is quite intrigued by you for sure and they just feel if they give in to this connection fully, they're scared that you'll hurt them. You'll tarnish their life somewhere down the line. So mutual trust which needs to be built is something which is coming through. <clears throat> last one, last one. I replay our past conversations. So this is the thing which came in with um, something you said which hit them kind of a thing which is coming through even if you are not really talking so often as much as you did in the past this person keeps on replaying those good moments or some things that you've said could have also come true now is something which is coming in and this is also something that they want to say like you said it and it's actually coming true it's actually occurring in my life that's what's coming through even if they seem to be very much busy, this person keeps replaying your conversations, the conversations that you've had with them. So that's what's coming in. They need to finally come out of the head, gain some courage, muster up some courage and come towards you and have a heart to heart conversation to end the separation of any kind and be in union with you. That's what's coming through. I hope this was beneficial for you. If you enjoyed this reading, please do hit the thumbs up, share it with the loved ones and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, Om Namah Shivaya. Keep that vibe. Hi, my lovely moon. Hello everyone, for those who were drawn to deck number two, which is the Nicoletta Koli <laughs> Tarot deck and the Tiger's Eye over here. So let's first sage
we will be looking into their desires, their intentions and confessions. So firstly, we'll begin with an overall overview so that you get a synopsis of it and see whether or not this is your reading. Right. Breathe in and breathe out. Spirit, can we first begin with what's been up? All right. So we have the high priestess coming in reverse. All, another Mija card. I'll have to check which one is it. And another Mija card over here. We have the Empress also coming through. Interesting. <laughs> Thank you. Nice coffee is here, I will say, to accompany us. All right. So, we have the Justice Guard, the High Priestess, and the Empress coming in. Very empowering. With the tiger's eye also, I felt it like when this one came out from the pouch, felt the draw towards it. So, Libra Major Arcana, Pisces Major Arcana and um, Venus energy which comes in with Empress. So, Taurus and Libra energy coming in, Libra coming in for the second time. Highly empowered people and this is quite a mix of things isn't it there have been things which have been hidden from their end and there has been things which aren't justified the actions which haven't been justified but they see your value now and like you both were put into a position where you had to look at the nitty-gritties of the connection how it's panning out for you both quite like putting the relationship under the microscope You've been doing it and so have they. That's what's coming through over here. So there's mirroring going on and there are still things which haven't been spoken about me, more than likely about your feelings which haven't been spoken about. Perhaps you have, but this person has keep, kept it hidden somehow or the other. Like the true extent of it is what is coming through. They felt overwhelmed in the past because they weren't perhaps looking for something serious and there came... And then you came in and changed that trajectory, which they weren't really prepared for. So that's what's the energy coming in. I, I was just asked, just go forward and start doing the intentions. Oh, so we're going to wrap this bit up. Could be those signs could be in your chart, their chart. But this is not really necessary. But three major arcanas coming in, this is a significant connection, the whole full potential of it, the extent of it, the spiritual aspect of it hasn't been known to both of you. You are now awakening to it or you have known about it, but this person is now understanding it with time. As the months get added on, then understanding the intensity of it also. And there's certain kind of karmic justice, which is playing out at this moment so if there was certain kind of delay which occurred so that's what's coming in there was a reason for it because this person had to come on board and with good intentions that's what's coming through because they understand what you bring to the table and it's quite a bit so they gotta buckle up and provide something better and this was person also feels that you have a lot of options you're very attractive um you have a lot of options and they didn't understand why did you take interest in them that's also something which is coming through all right so let's begin with the intentions we have the seven of pentacles coming through patience they want to see how things go that's what's coming in with so many legs also over here the spider also coming in they want to cast a web you for sure have under, uh, you. they feel like they have bewitched by you. That's also something which came through over here. And we have the, which one is this? Number 13. 
I'll have to check because I can't remember at this moment. Yeah, it is that one. I did think of it. It, it is, it's the death card coming in reverse. So Scorpio Major Arcana coming in. They want some time because they are kind of, um, it's a theme which is going on. It was something which was there over there in file group one, deck one also. Um, they don't, sim simply put, they don't want things to end between the two of you, but they want now to not come across wishy-washy. They're hoping for you to not run out of patience because they do acknowledge the fact that they have taken a long time to come where they are. That's what's coming in. Let's see a little more before I speak. Spirit for deck number two. What are the person's intentions? We have six of cups also coming in, soulmate energy coming through. This is the person from your soul tribe. We have the three of cups also coming in. They love the friendship between the two of you and they want that bond to deepen or that friendship to be rekindled is also something which is coming through. You may have known this person from childhood is coming in with this card. We have the knight of cups also coming in, something that they are going to propose, proposing an idea um, to take things forward. They want, with the night coming through, it is also them feeling excited once again about making things work. And this hope wasn't there for a very long time is what is coming through over here. They're excited about a new journey with you in terms of love. And where this goes it also feels in a way one energy is also that this could be a fairly new connection so that's the excitement which i'm feeling or if this is a long-term relationship could have been because of the six of cups over here for years going on for years on and off perhaps um i also feel this person wants to rekindle the playful side of this connection um the friendship also the that bond mutual respect to be reawakened, <laughs> re um, to be achieved. And we have the Hierophant also coming in, Taurus Major Arcana coming through. So they are thinking long term, something more substantial for some. They're thinking of, about taking things forward with you, like marriage is on their mind also. But with the Seven of Pentacles coming in over here, this is saying like they're thinking long term now. That's what's coming through. They may have been someone who very easily let go of things, but this is one connection with you. You're one person they just want with their dear life want to hold on to you and not let go of this connection, no matter what, because they want to put in the effort and they want to celebrate with you. Maybe for some, they will be wanting you, for you to be introduced to their friends and family is also somewhere down the line coming through. And if that does occur, know that they don't really uh, uh, randomly make everyone meet the person. You have, you, they can see your potential with you and they can see you in their life for a long time, which is why they want to make it a little more official that way is something which is coming through. So this is someone who wants to make things work with you and um is a f has found a friend in you and a lover in you and that's the perfect concoction with the tiger's eye also coming in you feeling drawn towards it that's the solar plexus chakra coming in it's almost like this person's inner teen has been tingled now and they are acting they may have acted a little immature in the past but they're realizing now that you've been very patient with them and that it is not always, the window will not always be there and that if they continue not taking any 
action and if they don't change the things around or at least be open to deepening the bond that you will move forward because you know your worth and you know what you want in life so they're recognizing all of that so it's interesting where this is at at this moment maybe a little un unexpected for you but this is what is coming in they don't want things to end they just want things to progress forward and they're getting quite excited about it a lot of this seems like they see you as the end the end goal in the sense um, yeah this person is getting clear and mustering up the courage to run towards you and speak the truth to cut cords with all the vicious cycles the dilemma the devil card coming in capricorn major arcana coming through um, the fears, they want to overcome it and cut those things off, even ties which have been holding them back. They want to cut those cords and run towards you. Or else we have the seven of wands also coming in, which is the good over evil, like the will of good over evil. Um, this is them wanting to win you at all costs. We have the Eight of Wands coming in, reverse. Certain kind of information which is going to come in very, very soon. It, there's a little bit of procrastination going on because they are trying to reiterate the words, restructure what they want to say. They're planning what they want to say to confess to you. It's the energy which is coming through. We'll peep into what they want to say, but the communication may have been a little off of late is what is coming through. Sometimes it's really there. Sometimes we're not talking for like four or five days and all because this person is realizing the feelings and they're going a little more in depth and actually mustering up the courage to speak the truth to you if they haven't already. It was 14, 14 when I said that. And we have the Empress coming in again. They're feeling a little overwhelmed by what they're feeling, what they're realizing. And... They somewhere down the line feel that you'll reject them, that they, you don't see them the way they see you, the way they feel for you, it won't be reciprocated. And it could be that you both are going through the same dilemma, is the energy which is coming in over here. So there's a bit of a pause in the communication because this person is taking the time to clear their head and to come up with something which is not overwhelming for them and is sufficient for you to remain in this connection, this relationship. But for majority, I feel like this person wants to advance things forward for sure, take things to the next level, whichever it may be in your relationship right now. That's what's coming through because this person is seeing you for the long term, long haul. For majority, they want to marry you. That's what's coming in. It all makes sense why it didn't work out with someone else. And it could be like, you know, they also have to, in that process of confessing or taking things forward, they have to overcome their past history also. So that's what's being, um, that's the closure, the healing, which is occurring at this moment. That's what's coming in. They can, f they feel they'll be triumphant with you, that life with you will be a success is what is coming in over here. Um, they may be interested, like, you know, they may have some certain kinks, soft fetishes that they want to explore with you. They love your ass quite significantly. <laughs> Let's get a few... The light is just running away now. Let's get a few 18 plus cards. Thank you. What do we have over here? We have the King of Swords coming in. <laughs> and we have the Seven of Pentacles coming in again. They can't, they, this person is obsessed over it. Like, you know, if you have been physically intimate with this person, 
um, they replay it again and again. Even if you don't meet, they get like emotional boner with you. Something which is coming through over here. And they love, this is the kind of a person you'll understand that they love cuddling and sleeping with you. Um, the leisure time spent together, that kind of a thing which is coming in. They want to entice you. And they hope that they will be sufficient for you is something which is coming in. And also, physically, intimate-wise, they want to learn what, how to pleasure you. That's also something which is coming in. This is person is very stimulated by you. Emotionally, mentally, and physically, that's what's coming in. And the intellectual talks that you have about spirituality, about life, the broader perspectives, the metaphysical and all of that entices this person a lot. They want to pick your brain is also something which is coming through over here. They want to get you to know you more is something which is coming in over here. There's this energy of wanting to be submissive the other one taking the lead that kind of a dynamics which will be which initially they may like you to be a little submissive perhaps but they'll realize that it is mutual and they love you being taking the lead also something which is coming through over here with time this uh, intimacy also will develop and it will be very fulfilling is something which is coming through over here all right so let's look into their confessions For number two, what is the person wants to come confess? What are their confessions? We have triple seven coming in and so many sevens came through. Twice seven of pentacles came in and one seven of swords. The seven of wands uh, came through. Uh, we have the triggers were for us both to spiritually grow. So soulmates also, soulmate connections also have these contracts, karma contracts which we undergo in order to spiritually grow, mature and things that we have to work through like and they can be very triggering. You both may have felt quite triggering, triggered by one another, the rawness of it and unhealed patterns which became very prominent and the only option was to go through them and not avoid them anymore. That's what feels like. That's what it feels like was feeling like I didn't say it because I always end up saying it and it's actually coming in. Anyways, this says, do you even see me? <laughs> With the ocean of people and options that are around you, even your friends and all are good looking and all of that. Like, do you even see me? Are you even interested that way? Because you are gorgeous, you are beautiful, you are handsome, inside and out. You are quite a pick. Um... Do you even care? Do you even see me that way? Am I even impressive that way? That's what's coming through. And the thing is, this person themselves could be very much attractive. But when it comes to you, their confidence dwindles a little. We have, I have a strong need to be in control coming through. Yeah. Which is why they keep their feelings also hidden. Because they feel like the moment they say to you, will say it to you the moment they let you know how much you influence them what kind of impact you have on them you already being embodying your human self so gracefully i'd say um they feel that you'll have a power over them and you will misuse it is something which is coming through and this is a projection which is coming in in a way or the scare or the scare fear of history repeating itself that's also somewhere down there coming through what else would you like to confess easier to hide under the masks but now i'm stuck this is something which was felt in deck number one over here feeling limited because like you know i also feel that they this person felt that they had to pull off a certain kind of characteristic, certain kind of role, certain kind of mask that they had to wear 
to come out more suave, like to be more suave, to impress you. And now they're feeling a little stuck by it because it's creating a limitation for them because they want to showcase how they really are and that they do have depth and that they are mesmerized by you and that they find you irresistible and all of that. But they feel like if they suddenly drop their masks off, they'll seem gullible and you'll you'll judge them for pretending to be someone else so that's the thing which is coming in but i like the fact that the deception of any kind it's not really ill intended it's just that this person puts you on a pedestal and doesn't see you as an equal which is why they had to present themselves in a certain way in order to impress you because you are absolutely out of the league what else would you like to confess a few more please We have the ex is creating drama. Could be an active one or it's just the past dilemmas which are creating certain kind of drama. If they are co-parenting with someone, that person could be creating drama, but they don't want you to be get uh, in the middle of it because they're handling it. And the ex is not really... Um, could also be like, you know, if the, they had common friends, so it could be that kind of a drama which is being created and they want you to be privy of it or be aware from it because they don't want things to get more complicated. But I feel it's under wraps. It's not something which is being prominent and, um, oh, there's a third party kind of thing. It's not that. And just something that they have to overcome. Deal with and come clean about it. If it is true, I am healing my inner child wounds coming in and we had the six of cups also coming through. So this is also coming in. The triggers, you're really helping them. They could have had abandonment issues in, in the childhood, which are still playing out and they're realizing that certain actions and their fears were based on certain experiences they had growing up and they are outgrowing that we have i often think of us in the future so yeah this is a confirmation coming through and lastly i'm not hearing my intuition this came in for deck number one also so they need to follow their own intuition because there's a lot of signs and synchronicities even their higher self guiding them and asking them to do what is right because they need to uh, do right by you is something which is coming in over here so if there is certain kind of element of past which is hindering them coming towards you taking things forward they will overcome it give them the time because they can see future over here but right now they're not ready to act upon it just yet this is their journey of becoming their authentic self and speaking the truth without fearing judgment or abandonment that's what's coming through but the signs and synchronicities are there this is a spiritual connection and they realize that too that's what's coming in so do let me know your thoughts. If you enjoyed this reading, then please do hit the thumbs up, share it with your loved ones and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, Om Namah Shivai. Keep that light high in the light. Hello number three for those who were drawn to this deck and the Amazonite. So this one is the steampunk tarot deck. 
We'll begin with an overall synopsis to get a little bit of context, a little bit of baseline for me, and for you to see whether or not this reading is for you. All right. So let's sage a bit. We'll be looking into their intentions and their confessions. All right. and breathe out. All right, so let's begin. Spirit, can we just get a little bit of an overview of what's been going on? What has been going on? Oh, my thank you. <laughs> a lot of energy today. A lot of energy. All right, two cards which have fallen out are we have the death card coming in, Scorpio Major Arcana coming in. Uh, all three decks had the Scorpio Major Arcana coming through. We are in the Scorpion season, so perhaps that's why it's a theme. And we have two of swords coming in. A little bit of confusion which has been there. Perhaps that's why we're doing this reading today to get a little bit of a clarification. Two, 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 as I said that. Um, over here is someone who is unable to move past their past. Is somewhere down the line coming in? That is a theme which has been in all three readings. Um, unable to decide which path to choose. To stay in the known or to tap into the unknown. Let's just cut the deck and see which one is here. We have three of wands also coming in. There's hope there, but it seems a little bleak at this moment. Two swords talks about taking the need to take the step back and look at the whole picture, look at the forest instead of being in front of the tree. Could be a little bit of separation which has occurred. You may have uh, cut cords with them and you can still energetically feel this person. Triple three as you see that. This, it seems like the relationship connection being stuck for a very long time where both have grown a little comfortable very content in how things are but one of you perhaps you who can see the potential but there's a strong resistance coming in from their end has been that way for quite a bit quite a lot of time almost like someone being uh, close to being um, emotionally unavailable <clears throat> Closed off to the idea of love, of death, of emotional intimacy. Someone who has been very confused. You could be getting mixed signals from this person. Hot and cold behavior quite a bit. A lot of ghosting which may have been involved. So let's see. <clears throat> What's with the synergy today? Like in this particular death. Reading your reading, so let's see. Look, let's look at the. I know I wanted some more in depth in it, like some more of a baseline, but that's where we gotta stop. Spirit so said, Let's just go forward and do the main reading. So let's begin with the intentions, spirit for those who chose step number three. What are the person's intentions? We have the King of Pentacles and when it flipped, it turned around. So the King of Pentacles coming in are earth, earth, earth signs. Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. Money oriented. Someone with a lot of responsibilities, quite accomplished. Could be a businessman, an entrepreneur. 
or head of the family, even if they're young. But someone who's a little more traditional, even if they seem quite modern, may have been experimental in the past, but at the crux of it, internally, they're quite traditional. And perhaps due to it, they may have extended, overly extended the courtship period also. This is someone who likes to be so short about what they're doing. It's quite business savvy also. They could be giving really good uh, business advice, career advice also. They have that knack. We have the Eight of Pentacles, quite a hard worker also. So this is someone who takes the time to make a decision, but once they have made a decision, they work upon it. Come what may, they will achieve it, attain it. And that's the, um, how do you say it? That's the mentality when it comes to relationships also, because they are the serious kind. They take the relationships very, very seriously. All right. And very family oriented also. Like they can put their family first before their own self also, their own needs too. And we have the chariot coming in, Cancer Major Arcana coming in reverse, which is talking about a lot of blockages, delays in action. And we have the page of swords coming in reverse. Page of Swords, when it comes in reverse, talks about lack of clarity and a bit of ma manipulation also that may have been going on. It's almost like this person is knowingly slowing things down, the way things have been going forward. We have the Knight of Pentacles also coming in, in reverse. It's interesting because Knight of, Knight of Pentacles, when it comes up, right, talks about someone who makes very short, short promises. What is someone is the slowest knight? It coming in reverse is, it's almost like this person is about to act a little out of character, something that you won't be expecting from them. A bit of speed, initiative. A little bit of pushiness that hasn't been there before because this is someone who is quite placid, placid, um, slow at moving things forward and all of that. And it's almost like something triggered them, something uh, made them feel jealous because they are the possessive kind. They don't, may not show it. And that has fired them up in a way. Let's see a little more. I want to look at the whole thing first. Alright. We have the Eight of Swords coming in talking about illusions, feeling confused, analysis paralysis, a lot of anxiety. We have the Six of Pentacles. This was a person who used to wear their hearts on the sleeve and give, 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 uh, give to others blindly. And through you, somehow or the other, this person is realizing they don't have to keep slurging on other people or overly give. They got to save up for themselves to something which you kind of induced in them. It's almost like a self-preservation or that like, you know, you should prioritize yourself also. That's something that they learned from you is something which is coming in and that's what they are doing right now. Creating healthier boundaries for themselves because they were into people pleasing before and they're walking mm -hmm. out of that. So it's coming to a healthier phase now. They're becoming aware of certain people who have been taking you, taken them for granted and they were overly giving in service of those people who weren't really at the end of it somewhere down the line even if they were good people they still chose to take advantage of this person and this person is right now 
coming out of it in is is in the phase of stepping out of those things where they have been oversharing and learning how to set healthier boundaries and that's because the few is being said again and again all right we have the knight of swords coming through certain kind of clarity that they will be like to letting you know of and wanting to communicate better with you and trying to explain their things their side of the story a little more because this person has been doing a lot of things has had a lot of responsibilities and could have not given too much into the relationship perhaps also but they're realizing that they need to prioritize themselves also and create their own legacy too that's also coming in uh we have the six of wands also coming in which is good they want victory with you they want to pursue you they want to progress towards you it's that waiting period which is coming to an end anxieties about history repeating itself them getting hurt um it's almost like what i feel is the kind of um, a little bit of cynicism which was there through which they were trying to safeguard themselves and putting you under the microscope they realized if they was they utilized that scrutiny in terms of other people in their life they will benefit from it because they were trying to it's almost like with the friends family and all they let go of the guard and like it's just reached to a point where um, even if someone is pushing the boundary and all of that they tolerate it and juxtaposing it to their connection with you the way they have been handling you is a lot of skepticism which was there right because you have touched you've hit a chord in them and that may scares them and they've realized that it wasn't really required because you really had good intentions true intentions towards you towards them sorry and they were just scared to open up to you because you mean a lot to them that's what's coming in and they implying that kind of a view which they had like testing you and all of that they are now becoming aware of their own connections in their life which have been weighing them down and they're freeing themselves that's the in intention that they have to clear off the ruckus the illusions the veils that have been clouding their judgment and in order to come towards you and speak their truth that's what's coming through very very significantly they want to come out clean that's what's coming in because they've gained certain kind of mental clarity and they want to speak to you for sure run to you also that's what's coming in so now let's get into the confessions bit so you you about to hear from them or meet them very soon is something which is coming in quite a bit because they have quite a bit to say which they have been withholding for some time now because they've been in the chair looking at you observing you and everything and they know they haven't given enough to you and they want to i'm just refraining myself for a very long time they want to give the world to you you mean the world to them the world essence of it is coming through they want to travel the world with you that kind of thing is also coming through very beautiful side of their soft side of theirs which they rarely show to other people um is something that they want to showcase to you is what is coming in and that's very nerve wracking for them because it was always in a way even if they were involved with so many people taking responsibility for so many lives and all of that they felt alone in this world and having you in their life someone on their tangent someone on their side it's change the view of how they handle things and they know they aren't alone that's also somewhere down the line coming so i don't know why is that significant <clears throat> you are the sunshine 
from their confessions, we have triple three, this came in for number one and the first card also. Can't express how happy I am. A small surprise is on its way. It could be a promotion also that they have been really working hard upon a big project that they landed with and they want to share that with you, a certain kind of realization. It's almost like one thing which I got with the King of Pentacles, which I didn't want to say initially was like maybe for some, uh, they want you to move in with them and see how that goes. But yeah, I think like could be someone's love language is gifting. Could be this person's own love language is gifting. Like they used to give a lot and they found someone, you, who actually likes giving small, 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 small gifts. So that's also coming in and they realized like how significant even the smallest of gestures coming from care are so significant. In contrast to the big ones, the materialistic ones, the pricey ones, that's also somewhere down that time again. I have a strong need to be in control. Yeah, that came through. That feels like it. 11, 11, the signs are everywhere. They can't ignore you. And the cosmos are making sure that they can't stop thinking about you. I feel like they must be burying themselves in work also. And even then, they come across something or something that is said that starts playing in their head or looking at you, something which triggers them. Yeah. How deep is your love? That's the... That's something, sorry, that's something that they are trying to understand. Too good to be true. <clears throat> that, that is also something which is, like, you know what it feels like? Someone who has been shielding themselves, protecting themselves, and from the world where they had to feel like, you know, they had to be on guard, vigilant. And there comes in, you come into the life who's asking them to just relax a little and it's becoming difficult for them to relax because even to relax a little, they need to trust you a lot and that's where they are right now. <clears throat> because once this person invests, they invest long term for the long haul and nothing short of it. So that's that. What else would you like to say? I feel if you are also interested in the long term, you've got to test the waters and let this person know. Or even if you want to hint about it, you can. And you can see how you can warm up to the idea. Like you can <clears throat> introduce the idea a little and see where they are at. Because I feel that they almost need a green signal from you. And it's almost like, can I rest now with you? Or do I need to be prepared? for the worst case scenarios because last time that I let like let down my guards I was met with circumstances almost where I felt like the deer in front of the lights startled unexpectedly things shifted and I was ungrounded left shook and felt appalled and I took a long time to forgive myself for allowing myself to be in that situation that's why i haven't closed off <clears throat> this is something which may have happened in the past which is why they're asking will you be faithful because could have been in the past their ex may have cheated i lose myself in your eyes <laughs> the limbo is catching up i know it's about time to act upon what I have been feeling, to take things forward, to show to you that I am equivalently interested, I am enamored by you and I'm totally scared. One last part. Is there someone else? This person really, like, loyalty is 
is vital for this person, which is why there's so many questions over here. And it's very typical, especially for Torians, mm -hmm. to be testing the waters to know that you are invested in it and that you won't be cheating because they won't have wavering eyes, would you? Is something that they are questioning. One more. I can smell competition is coming through. So if you aren't really looking for something heavy or serious, then let this person know so that they have enough time to um, step out of it. Also unplug from you because this is more than likely a person who wants something long term consistent, persistent, consistent and loyalty is very important, is an important virtue for them. And we have, this is a deep connection coming through, a recognition from their end coming through. And you don't really want to spike their jealousy because this person, when they're jealous, angered, aren't the best. And they can do real serious stuff. And they can say things which will be hurtful if you are the cheating kind. So if you don't want something this heavy duty, if you see it that way, then back off is something that is being said don't hurt me is what they're saying one last okay we have i love you also coming through so yeah that's that this person has good intentions towards you they have certain kind of hurdles that they are overcoming certain ratios in their life relationships that they are uh reshuffling or Putting into perspective, learning how to create healthier boundaries, but deep within them, they do have very strong feelings for you. And they're hoping that you do too, and that you yourself have good intentions towards them because they can see things for the long haul. That's what's coming in. Genuine feelings over here. So I hope you enjoyed this reading, and if and if you did, then please do hit the thumbs up, share it with the loved ones and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, Om Namah Shivaya. Keep that vibe. Hi, my lovely moon.